Hey, it's Amy Keys with the Digital Capital Company, and today I'm going to show you the power of using conditional fields in your forms. So you'll notice here I'm working in a copy of my website so I can uh, do this example for you. And all I've done is created a new form. This is actually using Gravity Forms. Conditional forms are available in some other form options, but Gravity Forms is my form builder of choice. So I've created a new form, I've given it a name, and given it some description text. So let's get started and drop in some basic fields here. And let's just drop in a name field and an email field. And let's make these required. I'm just going to close this here. We'll make this required for their name and email required. Now, if you're wondering what conditional fields are, they are related to questions where you have two different options to answer. Say, for example, applications for employment. Uh, there's a lot of questions about have you attended high school? Have you attended college? Have you attended uh, postgraduate work? Let's say you answer no to one of those questions. You really don't need to see any additional follow-up questions related to that original question when you're completing the application. So conditional forms are a way to show and hide certain fields based on how you answer a different question. So let me show you this visually and you'll get a better idea. Let's add in here a radio button field because that will give us some different options that we can base some conditional field questions on. So let's say, um, have you worked for our company in the past? Okay, and let's make, oh, get out of here. Yes, no, that's all the, op the options. Let's make that required. Okay, now, if we haven't worked for the company in the past, there's no reason to show questions related to when or what position that you held. So let's add in a field assuming the person's going to answer yes. And we want to know, let's see, let's add in a date field. And what was the last start date for employment with us? It isn't worded that great, but this is just to give you an idea. Um, you can choose the dates to show however you want. And what you do, we only want to show this if the person answers the question yes. We're going to click over here in the advanced tab and we're going to enable conditional logic and you'll start to see some options. So we only want to show this field if the person answers yes to this question. Now leaving that all is fine for now, but if you had other questions and you wanted this field to show or hide for it, you'd want to change this to any. And then you could say, just an example, um, email is not uh, at Google. This is not the greatest example, but you get the idea. If I said all of these as the conditions, they'd have to have answered yes and not have this email. So it's better to just say any. These can be, you know, a trigger for either one of them. All right, so Let's just hit update to save that, and then I'll show you a preview of how that's going to work. All right, so we're going to say yes. I don't even have to fill it in to test it, and you could see it's going to show this question. If we say no, 
it's going to hide it. Okay, so that's working good. Now what you can do is if you were to make this question required, it wouldn't mess up uh, somebody answering no to the form. It only becomes a required field when it's actually showing. So if we want to make sure they answer this question, we just need to check the required form. All right, so let's hit update again. Now, let's do a couple things here related to conditional fields. You can also send uh, notifications out to people depending on how they answer a question. So in the case of gravity forms, they always automatically have an admin notification just to let it would come to me and let me know somebody submitted a form. But let's make another one that's going to go to the, let's call this the applicant notification. And what we want to do is your application has been received. And, you know, you could fill in whatever you like here, but the part I want to show you is the conditional logic field. So let's say that we only want this notification to go to this person if they answer yes to that question. And we can make sure this is clearly identified by saying um, applicant notification, yes, worked in the past. And that's just an internal notice there. And the reason why we would only want this particular notification to go is because maybe something in the text is going to be written specific to someone who's worked with us in the past. So for example, hi, um, filter name fields over here, hi, we are so glad you have decided to apply for work with us again. So you wouldn't want to say this sentence to somebody who hasn't worked with the company in the past. You would only want someone who said yes. So it's a much more personal notification uh, that you can do, you know, customer service wise to make sure the message is tailored specifically. Another good way uh, to use conditional forms that I use all the time is for conference notifications. I use those a lot for different registration types. Those are examples of great conditional forms. If somebody's only attending a particular um, conference, let's see, so I have a conference that is four days, but there are options to attend just the first two days, the first middle days, a single day, and I want tailored notifications going to the person who signs up depending on which registration they choose. So that's how we set up some custom notifications to happen on the back end so that the message is always tailored to the person. I think you'll find if you take any form, they typically always have some type of way that you want to streamline the form. It's a good user experience to make sure that people aren't having to answer questions that aren't related to the question above it. It makes things go faster and it's a better experience overall. So I hope that that has helped you to think of ways that you can maybe use conditional forms for yourself. And as always, hit me up in the comments and let me know if you want an example of a form that you'd like to turn into an online version. Let me know and I'll be happy to put it together for you.